Item number SCP-007-J Object Class Euclid Awaiting Advancement to Kedar Special Containment Procedures The whereabouts of SCP-007-J is currently unknown, although it has been confirmed that it has not left sight beep since its initial discovery in Officer Blake and Officer Evans' office. Recon Team Thader is awaiting authorization to sweep the premises. In the meantime, all staff were advised not to engage SCP-007-J due to its unknown nature. Description SCP-007-J is a blueberry muffin which belonged to Foundation Officer Evan prior to the discovery of its anomalous nature and its subsequent designation as an SCP. SCP-007-J was identified during Officers Blake and Evans' assigned lunch hour on BEEP. The anomaly occurred during a phone call Officer Evan received, which required him to leave the room. Whilst unobserved by Officer Blake, SCP-007-J, which Officer Evan had left unattended on his desk, planning to consume it after his phone call, believing it to be an ordinary muffin, disappeared by unknown means, leaving only a residue of unknown properties on Officer Blake's lips. The transcript of the exchange which led to SCP-007-J's discovery is recorded below. Officer Evan entering the door and having concluded his phone call. Hey man, oh dude, where the hell is my muffin? What? No, we have been over the ethics of food stealing. You do not steal another man's pastry. I swear to God, I don't know what you're talking about. So my muffin just walked out of here on its own, did it? Well, I don't know. Stranger things have happened. I mean, you can't believe in a concrete weeping angel or an indestructible homicidal crocodile, but not a sentient muffin. Wait, do you think that's what we're dealing with here? No. I think you've eaten it. You've still got crumbs on your face for frick's sake. <gasps> oh crap! It's left its residue on me. Grab me an SCP form. I'm gonna run to the med bay and get myself checked out. You're an idiot. The residue left on Officer Blake's lips was identified as crumbs from SCP-007-J. It is currently unknown how or why SCP-007-J left its mark upon Officer Blake, but medical analysis has revealed no long-term effects. As a precaution, Officer Blake is to spend three days in quarantine. Additionally, to prevent other unsigned pastries from animating as a result of exposure to SCP-007-J or the Foundation itself, as may be SCP-007-J's origin, the cafeteria is to be kept under armed guard until SCP-007-J is secured.